A Very Eerie Easter by Christina Wargel. Eerie Easter Egg Hunt 2024, DJ declared. I hope Juliet didn't make it too hard to find the eggs. He pushed a branch away from his face. Dude, I'm stoked, Parker said. What's better than an eerie Easter egg hunt in Ichabod's trail? Got one. DJ spotted a purple egg decorated with the face of Frankenstein. Suddenly, a loud howl sounded through the air. What was that, Parker whispered. DJ shrugged. Maybe there's a dog on the trail. Check it out. A zombie egg. DJ and Parker spotted an egg decorated like a brain. And there's a clue. It says, go left and walk past Ichabod's sleepy river. We've never gone that way before. This is creepy cool, DJ exclaimed. Yeah, a zombie egg is the perfect eerie egg. It's a no-brainer, Parker joked. Suddenly, a groaning sound came from the distance. What was that, Parker asked. DJ stuttered. Before he could reply, the groan sounded again. This time, the noise seemed to be even closer. I'm sure it's nothing. Let's keep going, DJ assured him. After passing the river, the boys soon reached an abandoned cabin. Dude, DJ shouted, this cabin is awesome. Parker trembled. I can't believe we never knew this was here. A cauldron, DJ exclaimed. He pointed to a large black pot. Do you think this is part of the eerie egg hunt? Parker frowned. I don't know about this. What about the howling and the groaning? The boys walked slowly. Left foot, right foot. Left foot, right foot. Suddenly, an evil laugh sounded from the cabin. The boys sucked in their breath. DJ, what if there's an evil Easter bunny in there waiting to creep us out during our Easter egg hunt? DJ shuddered. There's only one way to find out. Let's keep walking. Left foot, right foot. Left foot, right foot. As the boys crept closer, the devious laughter seemed to become closer, closer, closer. An eyeball, DJ yelled. He grabbed an Easter egg decorated like an evil eye. Suddenly, boom, thunder sounded from the sky. DJ, Parker yelled. This eerie egg hunt is getting too creepy. Let's get out of here. Not so fast, the voice yelled. Juliet exited the cabin, smiling from ear to ear. How was that for an eerie egg hunt? Juliet, what are you doing here? We thought you hid our eggs last night, DJ declared. That's not important, Parker began to panic. We need to get out of here before the evil Easter Bunny comes out of his cabin. DJ nodded. There was howling and groaning, Parker added, and evil laughter. Juliet burst out laughing. Listen up, confused dudes. There is no evil Easter bunny. I was simply enhancing the atmosphere of your eerie Easter egg hunt. The atmosphere involves the feelings and emotions created by the setting. I knew making those noises would help create a spooky atmosphere. And I know how much you two love all things spooky. But what about the rain, DJ asked. The rain had nothing to do with me, Juliet laughed. That was just Mother Nature's way of helping create the atmosphere. Parker, what was the atmosphere of your birthday party last week? That's easy. Fun, 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 he shouted. Great, bud. DJ, what was the atmosphere in the haunted house we visited last Halloween? Suspenseful, DJ yelled. You never knew what was coming next. Awesome sauce, bro. So... I may have been creating an atmosphere, but there is no evil Easter bunny. Got it? Got it. Hey, Juliet pointed to the sky. The sun's coming out. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day after all. In the distance, birds began chirping. Juliet put her arms around DJ and Parker. Let's keep exploring, spooky dudes. This is my kind of atmosphere.